Hello! From this short clip you will get to know what a wrap is. The example of running icon will illustrate it in the best way possible. After entering exemplaryshop.com you can see a pulsating gift in the left hand bottom corner of the page. After clicking it, the text inviting a customer to recommend your shop or a particular product appears. You can recommend something via Facebook, referral link or via email. Using the last option, you should enter an email address of a person to whom the recommendation shall be sent. After clicking Send a Gift, both sides of the recommendation get a message and the referral gets the opportunity to subscribe to the newsletter. The referral person gets a thank you note for recommending your shop and the other person gets the recommendation of the shop. Setting up a referral program takes a moment. After creating an account and signing in, you should move to Campaigns and then create a referral program. The first decision you have to make is the selection of a model in which the app is going to work. If you choose the Prompt Gift option, both the referral person and the person receiving the recommendation get a message the moment the Send a Gift option is clicked. If you choose Gift for Actions, the referral will receive a thank you note together with a discount after clicking the link redirecting for the recommended page. On our exemplary page, the prompt gift is to be used, which is why I click Start button below this option. In the first step, I enter the domain for which I want to create the campaign and I click Next. After the preview is loaded, I decide where the icon will appear. I select its type or I can upload my own design of the icon. I can move it, enlarge it or turn the background off if it's needed. The panel enables to set up the advanced options of the icon display. The advanced options are available under the Show button. In the first step, you should also set up the display of the widget for mobile devices. After setting everything up, click Next. In the next step, you can edit the message following the display of the icon before and after the recommendation. You can choose the content of the message, the color of the background and the type of font, but also the color of the button itself. Additionally, you can choose the icon which will appear in this window if it turns out that the shop does not incorporate open graph meta tags. If it does, the icon can be replaced with a photograph and the description of a product. Moreover, at this stage, you can have the option of turning the recommendations on via Facebook and subscribing the referrals to the newsletter. After setting all of the text up, click Next. In the third step, we set up the codes sent to the customers via the app, together with the recommendations. To do it, you must upload the list of disposable codes or the fixed ones. After uploading them, we click Next. In the fourth step, you can set up the message which the person to whom the recommendation will be sent is to receive and the message with a thank you note for the referral person. You can edit the body of a message at choice. You can also include the graphics. The only term is not to change the variables in square brackets. You also need to detail the email address from which the thank you note will be sent. In the fifth step, you can decide where the app will be displayed. It's displayed on every subpage by default. If you wish to exclude a single subpage or display the app at the, the selected subpages, you need to follow the instructions, which can be found on the right hand side. After choosing the placement of the widget display, you can click Next. In the sixth step, you need to complete the data needed to generate the terms and conditions and the possibility to gain email addresses of the referral people who agree for that. Terms and conditions of the referral program are available below Send a Gift button. During completing the data, you should remember that the data entered into the app won't determine code's activity. You should set up the app's actual work in a shop. After entering the data, click Save. Now, the campaign is saved. To make the app work, you need to place the previously generated code in the body section before closing the app. You can find the detailed instructions for particular shops in the Help tab. You can also check or change the code anytime. 
To do it, click your campaigns and click the code in upper right hand corner. At this level, you can edit any steps of the campaign you wish to edit. In order to do it, you need to click Edit Campaign, edit what you wish, and save the changes. Replacing the code isn't needed. The app introduces any changes automatically. That's it. The referral program is ready in less than 6 minutes. If you have any questions, we are in the bottom right-hand corner. Speak to you soon.